everyone, welcome to the next episode of Ark Aberration. I'm uh, currently in the process of building up my base, so I've done the thatch and the wood. So I'm just trying to replace the thatch with uh, better materials so it doesn't get damaged immediately. Uh, sod walls and back walls in stone if I can. I haven't got enough back walls. Foundations for my forge and smithy. And my crabs decided to just wander forward, which is really helpful. Back up a bit. Get off him. He was following, that's why he walked forward. Okay, so put my forge on this side and my smithy on the other side, which I need to build yet. But I need some uh, metal ingots to actually build my smithy, so. Yeah, I didn't even go through the wall for a change. So, two metal for every metal ingot, so I can make five. I think I need five or eight for my smithy. Uh, put the door. Yeah, I've got a door. No, that's a pipe. in place. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead because I need to get some stuff. Right, so while I was out getting stuff, I um, got a load of meat, so I need to put that in the trough. So sport meat's actually better for the crabs. They seem to enjoy it more than normal meat. I've also built my spithy, as you can see. stuff inside the container inside just in case I die and keep the trank arrows are useful I kind of love that ringing in the background sounds like church bells all the time makes me feel protected probably take those gemstones out and put them in the smithy, but do I do that now? Yeah, should do. No, put that back. That's it. Um, I can already make some. Oh, one. <laughs> Smithy. Spot powder in there. Can't wait until I can start doing some electrical stuff so I can actually make some proper fridges. I need a load more stone to build walls for this building. One thing I've noticed about this map, a lot of the rock has got quite poor texture on it, whereas everything else is perfectly fine. Don't quite understand that one. such a rhythm then I didn't even know to stop. No structures, thank you. Um, yeah. I want to get four more foundations so I can replace the inside ones. Come here Krabby. Move. 
No. I was going to put that in the smithy and then didn't bother. So let's do it now. Anything else? No. Oh, I can't stop move. Right. Spark powder. And cement in paste. Make some of the five of those. And the rest in those. There we go. God. How many times they'll go around in circles trying to actually get in line with the level up option? They get so happy. They're back and their bulb actually flashes to say they're charging. When they're fully charged, if you don't turn the light on, the uh, the bulb and their back goes solid colour. And then when you turn them on, everything glows. Loads of metal lingots for the hatchet. And I've only got one metal. That's no good. Yeah, that's wishful thinking. Some of these get the mar narco berries to make narcotics as well. So we can all have very good. No, not that type of narcotic. The ones in this game are sedatives more than narcotics. So you use them for making tranquilizer arrows, tranquilizer darts, um, or you can even directly use them in taming where you basically force feed them to the creature that's unconscious and it keeps them unconscious which is quite useful especially as taming without modification can take 12 13 hours in some cases luckily I've never had to sit there and do that all myself <laughs> I've uh, the only time I've, I've been taming something for that sort of length of time I had somebody else with me so I could go and do other stuff while they were looking after it and I came back and they could then go and do other stuff so I have tweaked the values of taming speed and breathing speed on this as I said previously I'm going to spend ages just picking stuff off him, not careful so I must admit the first time I had an earthquake on this map I got really annoyed because I was trying to actually set something down. I was trying to set a foundation and it kept jumping and I ended up putting it in a place I didn't actually want it. Let's get some water because I'm about to die of thirst. And I'll fill my water thing skin at the same time. Why is it put it should have put it in my bar at the bottom. And I forgot to select it. There we go. Right, what do I need now? Still need stone, wooden thatch to make my additional building items. 
Let's get rid of a lot of this extra weight. And put the uh, darker berries in here so I can make narcotics. Nine. Let's put the flint and I don't think nine's enough actually. That out. Yeah, she's leveled up. Spark powder in there. I was about to shut myself in the door then. Don't know why you have to eat so much just to get your food right back up. But if it's empty, you basically need to eat five cooked meat, which seems quite excessive, really. But I suppose if you're that hungry. Okay. Shot. Useful for knocking out really small creatures right at the beginning, but. <laughs> One thing that I should really unlock at some point is the bolus. Because the bolus is actually very, very useful because it can uh, immobilize raptors, ravagers, anything along those lines. Um, so it's, it's quite good. It's interesting. I never thought of doing that before until I just tried it. So the mushrooms that grow in this area um, have the same properties as narco berries, so you can use them to make narcotics. Let's give me ten narcotics. So that'll be allow me to have. 10 trunk arrows eventually. the uh, left stick to move forward and it aims you at the floor so you hardly jump. So my pipe network is finished um, from my previous video. If you remember I uh, I said I'd just carry on because it was boring watching laying it. Well it took an absolute age. Uh, it's not finished yet. It's only taken it up to my very first crop plot so you can see it above me there. Um, there's a parasa. Again, if you watch my previous video, that's basically what you would have to capture to get one of these crabs normally. Mount a catapult on that one's back um, and just fire down straight into the body of the crab. Hello, little Ovis.
twenty ravager. Oh, forty. What was that? I didn't see what that other one was. Oh, there's a level 150 somewhere nearby. So the bulb dog just yelped. And there's an image that's shown up in the bottom right hand corner. It means there's a max level creature in the area. Um, bulb dogs are extremely useful for that particular reason. So if you're wandering around an area and you hear that go off, you know that you've got to be extremely careful. Right, so there's the Ravager. Is it that Ovis? That would be funny if it was level 150. Nope, that's a 10. That would have been hilarious though. Level 150 sheep. <laughs> right, that's 20. I'm now getting rather nervous just in case it's creeping up on me. <laughs> oh, ravages. Levels that. Oh, that's a 75, so that's not the creature, but. Ah. Uh, there's a Sarko just eating the crab there. Maybe it's that. Yeah, it is that. There you go. 150 Sarko. Brilliant. Keep away from the water. Huh. Right, two Sarkos fighting that Spino now. Level 150. That Spino is not going to last very long. What I need to do is I need to get rid of two of these... Oh, yeah, there's the spino. He's dead. Right, I need to get the smaller, the smallest of these ravagers out of the way. So, grab him in the claw and just whack him into the floor. Trying to do it out of the way so I don't get seen by the other two. There we go. Sheep still there. still around. It's really unnerving because it doesn't tell you which direction, where it is, or anything. You just have to guess. Which of course when it's underwater isn't that much of a problem. It's under the water, but if you're next to the water you don't know whether it's going to come out behind you, in front of you. So especially when you're playing single play and there's no one to come and help you. It's... Um, it is quite unnerving. Right, and you can get squashed as well. Oh, hello. Right, so now just the level 75 left. They're quite good because they're fast movers. They jump, although not brilliantly. Um, still around. I can't hit for Toffee. Oh my god. That got him. Here we go. That's not good. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Can't see. 
Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's run up. He's run away. I can't have had two arrows almost knock him out. Oh my god, anything at range, I'm absolutely useless. Can't even tell whether that's going too high or too low. Well, I need to be careful because that Sarko is going to be around here somewhere. That's me out of arrows. So, uh, do I go and make more or do I? I've got enough normal arrows, I just need the narco arrows. To do that, I need to go and make, get more narco berries, but I don't want to lose him. And I'm worried that that sarco is going to eat him. Oh, Jesus. Um, I need to do a sneak and grab. Now the benefit is that, oh yes, I know he's there. The benefit is that if I grab this, so the benefit of these crabs is I can grab them, take them wherever I want, and then go and farm the stuff I need to make the arrows. So I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Right, so I've made 20 arrows and I've shot 10 of them already. Carrying on. Hopefully it'll go down before I run out again. Otherwise it it'll wear off. Is he down yet? Oh, come on. Oh look at that. Just as the bow broke. Now that's timing. So I need to go and get some meat and hopefully that Ovis is still here, so uh, I'll see you when I've got the meat. Where are you? So I managed to get the Ovis. He only had 10 meat on him though, which is annoying. I mean, the last one I managed to find, I think I got about 50. I think I got more fur and everything else out of that one. Right, now the best way to tame these things, as with any dinosaur, eh, or creature I should say these days, is to starve tame them so the method of doing that is get a load of berries you can use narcotics but berries are cheaper um, and with narcotics as soon as you eat as soon as they eat them it adds I think it's 20 or 30 torpor um, but it starts degrading again straight away whereas with the berries it basically stacks so if you add five berries it will stack um, and will take longer to get to its top torpor level and then start to degrade. So in effect, it uh, it's easier to use the berries and, and gives a longer duration of torpor. For the amount of time consumed anyway, because obviously using 20 berries and 20 narcotics, you're going to have a better result with 20 narcotics, but it takes you a lot longer to get those narcotics. Right, and I need to get a load of narco berries to do this. Let's put the uh, we'll put the mutton inside the crab. He shouldn't eat it because he has got other meat in there. Um, it just means it's not going to go off as quickly. I think I said in my previous video. I think it's about a. Uh, two or three times slower so if you put it in your your animal it'll last twice as long or three times as long which is pretty useful 
you just have to be careful if you are storing meat inside a carnivore it could just end up eating the stuff that you're trying to save so make sure they have got something else in the meantime I really wish my bulldog will hurry up in charge so I can see what I'm doing I could just use my torch but where's the fun in that when you've got a dog on your shoulder where is he that's a bush there he is she is sorry she is right so just add a few more keep his torpor high you can let the torpor drop practically to zero and then just start feeding them the berries but I like to keep it as high as possible just in case there is a an issue where something attacks and you have to scare it off and it takes a few minutes you don't risk losing your um, your tame it's quite odd for me because I'm usually playing when I play Ark I'm usually playing the standard map the island and of course you've got flyers and you've got sunlight mainly um, but, but you have got flyers and you've got a lot of different carnivores around so you've got T-Rexes, Carnotaurus, Allosaurus, all of those whereas the main ones I've seen in this are dinosaur wise would be the Spino um, I think I've seen a Carnotaurus as well um, but I haven't seen any T-Rexes and I haven't seen any um, other large like Allosaurus, I haven't seen any of those um, so the only real carnivore dinosaurs I've seen are Velociraptors, Carnotaurus and Spinos they've obviously got Ravagers which are a new one um, they've got the Crab or I think it's Carcinos I think they're called um, and you have got some other ones, the nameless are the worst so I explained in my previous video that if you haven't got something like a bulb dob where you've got um, charge and it illuminates the area that the reason you get a symbol is to tell you that you're protected from the nameless so as soon as they come near you when you've got that symbol on they they basically get illuminated and you can then kill them and you can kill them quite easily whereas if you're not illuminated a it's very hard to knock them out but then as soon as one of them disappears the rest show up again so you just constantly have reinforced reinforcement showing up which is a nightmare so it's, that should be enough let's transfer the mutton now and see what happens okay I wasn't expecting that so one mutton tamed a level 75 ravager I know I'd increase the speed by two, but that's basically saying two mutton would have done the same job, even before I uh, change the settings. So, hello. Right, need to get you back to uh, back to the base, don't I? I can hear a man crying out for for water or something wrong way so in the background every now and then in this area and it only seems to be in this area I can actually hear what sounds like a player character crying through lack of water or food the groan that they have now the fact that I managed to get this crab by finding it already unconscious on the uh, the side of the lake right when I first started well say first started I was level 7 I'm wondering whether there's a ghost in the machine another player's managed to invade my PS4 if it is, he really needs to start drinking or eating something because otherwise he's going to die. Bulb dog! Level one bulb dog. Really not worth it. 
and I've just pressed the wrong button and jumped. Well, that's it for this video guys. Um, I will be making another one, so if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I will see you for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye.